Welcome to Guyanese Voices, where we empower Guyanese voices and inspire change. As Guyana's top source for breaking news and in-depth coverage, we keep you informed on the latest events shaping our nation. Top Headlines for September 19, 2024 After a decade of silence, the case of Levoy Talget, the Guyana Energy Agency field manager, who disappeared in 2013, has taken a dramatic turn. Next, we turn our attention to Jamal Rolox, a 37-year-old miner from Georgetown, who's now facing a legal battle after being arrested for unlicensed possession of a firearm and ammunition. And in breaking news from Berbis, a massive drug bust has led to the arrest of a 23-year-old carpenter. Stay tuned as we dive into these stories and more, right here on Guyanese Voices. <laughs> Jamal Rolox's legal battle begins. $400,000 bail granted in firearm case. On September 15, 2024, 37-year-old Jamal Rolox, a minor from Georgetown, found himself in deep legal trouble. Arrested on charges of unlicensed possession of a firearm and ammunition, his story quickly escalated to the courts. But there's more to this case than meets the eye. What happens when a seemingly routine arrest turns into a courtroom drama? Stay tuned as we dive into the details of this developing story. Jamal Rolox was taken into custody on September 15, following the discovery of a firearm and ammunition in his possession, both without a license. The arrest took place in Georgetown, and the implications of this charge are serious, given the strict gun laws in place. The charge includes the unlicensed possession of a firearm, which can carry significant penalties, including hefty fines and possible jail time. Additionally, possessing ammunition without the necessary documentation only compounds the severity of his case. On September 18, Jamal Rolox stood before Magistrate Faith McGusty in the Georgetown Magistrates Court. The charges were formally read to him, but in a surprising move, Rolox pleaded not guilty to both accusations. Despite the seriousness of the charges, Magistrate McGusty granted him bail, setting it at $400,000, a significant amount, yet still an option that allowed him temporary freedom until his next court date. This bail decision has sparked conversations about fairness, especially in cases involving firearms. Now, all eyes turn to October 6, 2024, when Rolox is expected back in court. Legal analysts are speculating on possible defense strategies he might employ, especially considering his not guilty plea. Could this case see a prolonged legal battle, or an unexpected turn of events in the upcoming hearings? As we wait for the next development, it's crucial to keep in mind how the Guyanese judicial system has handled similar cases in the past. The outcome of this case could set an important precedent regarding unlicensed firearm possession, especially for minors and others working in remote areas. While the legal process plays out, the stakes remain high for both the defendant and the judicial system. As this courtroom drama unfolds, we'll be keeping a close eye on the developments leading up to the October 6 hearing. Will Rolox's defense hold up in court, or will the charges lead to a harsher penalty? Only time will tell. Breaking news. Carpenter arrested after huge cannabis discovery in Berbis. Breaking news out of Berbis. Authorities make a major drug bust. A 23-year-old carpenter is behind bars after police uncovered a shocking amount of cannabis. Could this be part of a larger operation? We are turning our attention to a serious incident that unfolded in Berbis this week. Boudram Lolier, a 23-year-old carpenter from Patrick Dam, Angois Avenue, was arrested after police discovered a massive quantity of suspected cannabis during a marine patrol in the Berbis River. This drug bust is sending shockwaves through the community, raising questions about the scope of drug trafficking in the region. Police ranks were on routine marine patrol in the Berbis River when they intercepted a suspicious individual, Boudram Lolier. 
Acting on a hunch, they conducted a search that led to the discovery of two large bags containing four bulky parcels, tightly wrapped in transparent plastic. The contents 5,772 grams of suspected cannabis. This sizable haul has sparked concerns over illegal drug operations, and authorities are now investigating further to determine if this is part of a larger network. Following the discovery, Boudram Lolier was immediately arrested and taken into custody. As a carpenter from Patrick Dam, Angois Avenue in New Amsterdam, Burbis, his background has left some in shock, someone from a seemingly regular profession entangled in such a major crime. This has led to intense speculation about whether Lolier was acting alone or part of a more extensive drug operation. The Burbis River has been a known hotbed for illegal activities, including drug trafficking, given its proximity to various transit points. This latest bust is just one in a series of recent drug-related arrests in the region. It highlights the ongoing battle between law enforcement and criminal networks that use waterways like the Burbis River as strategic routes for moving illegal substances. What remains unclear is how deep this issue runs and how many more individuals could be involved in this illicit trade. Local authorities have praised the swift actions of the police on marine patrol, calling it a victory in the fight against drug trafficking. However, it's clear that much more needs to be done. The police are urging residents to remain vigilant and report suspicious activity, as these drug busts often lead to larger investigations that can help dismantle trafficking rings in the region. This arrest is a significant step forward in curbing drug trafficking in Burbis, but it's also a stark reminder of the ongoing challenges authorities face in the fight against illegal drugs. As more details emerge, the police will continue their investigation to determine whether Lolia was a lone actor or part of a broader criminal organization. 10 years later, shocking arrest in Levoy Talget's disappearance. After more than a decade of waiting for answers, the murder case of Guyana Energy Agency field manager Levoy Talget has taken a stunning turn. The prime suspect, Riven Shervin Francis, who had eluded justice for years, is finally in custody. But what led to this breakthrough in a case that had gone cold since 2013? Stay tuned as we dive into the latest developments in this shocking crime and find out how new evidence has brought the cold case back to life. Welcome back to Guyanese Voices, your go-to source for all the latest updates and in-depth stories from across Guyana. Today, we are uncovering the chilling details behind the arrest of Riven Shervin Francis, the prime suspect in the 2013 murder of Levoy Talget, a case that baffled investigators for years. With fresh leads emerging and new evidence coming to light, this long-standing mystery might finally be on the verge of being solved. Levoy Talget, a field manager with the Guyana Energy Agency, disappeared in late December of 2013. He was last seen on the night of December 23rd, and the following day, his car was found abandoned in the Yarrow Cabra backlands on the Linden Sosdyke Highway. Despite extensive searches, his body has never been recovered. The suddenness of his disappearance and the lack of physical evidence left investigators with few leads, and the case quickly went cold. Early on, Riven Shervin Francis was brought in for questioning. He was found in possession of Talget's vehicle and cell phone, raising suspicions. He even handed over Talget's bank card and driver's license to the police, claiming that the missing man had contacted him from Suriname. But as time went on, it became clear that Francis had been lying, his story unraveled, but with no solid evidence linking him to the crime, he was released, and the case stalled. Fast forward to 2024, when a crucial new witness came forward with information that changed everything. A female acquaintance of Francis revealed that he had confessed to her about the night of December 23, 2013. According to her testimony, Francis strangled Talget in his vehicle before burying his body in a location that remains undisclosed. This new lead prompted the cold case unit of the Criminal Investigation Department to reopen the case, and on September 17, 2024, Francis was arrested, 
finally bringing a sense of closure to a case that had haunted the community for over a decade. The arrest of Riven Shervin Francis is a significant step forward in this long-standing mystery. While many questions still remain, most notably, the location of Levoy Talgett's body, this latest development offers hope that justice may finally be served. Cold cases like this one remind us of the importance of new evidence and witnesses coming forward, even years later. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.